Come on, if, you, if you've ever been to a game, you know this song. Come on, get up and get a little exercise. Come on now, go and stand up on your feet. Don't be sitting there not doing anything. Have some fun with this. Come on, I know you all know this song. Y'all seen football games. You've seen baseball games. You've seen basketball games. You know this song. And if you know anything, you've been to a band and heard them play the song. Come on, everybody. We know the word. It's real simple. Hey! 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 There we go. Okay, we're going to just have a little fun here today. All right, so just having a little fun, goofing off a little bit, it's okay. You know why? Because it's my class and I can. There we go. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Hospitality and Tourism Directed Study. Um, if you are in Culinary 2, you should be watching your Culinary 2 video. If you are in Culinary 4, you should be watching your Culinary 4 video. If you are Nutrition and Wellness, you should be watching your Nutrition and Wellness video. This is for Hospitality and Tourism Direct Study with good old Chef Abbott. For many of you, you don't know me, so you're probably watching that intro. You might be just a little freaked out. And guess what? It's okay. I promise I'm okay. I'm that fine line between uh, insane and genius. It's a very fine line and sometimes the tail, uh, the scales tip in whatever direction I feel that day. So maybe today I'm just a little bit insane, but don't worry, there's a level of genius that goes into this. All right, so happy for you to be here with me today. Y'all did pretty good last week, but just a couple things I want to go over and what I want you moving forward in. So for today, number one, I want to talk about attendance. Be on time to your class period. Many of y'all did very, very well just the other day with um, how everything was going. And that's my dog. Don't worry about it. Sometimes these things happen. Class interruptions. It's like coming on the intercom. Some of y'all checked in just a little earlier than your class period. And some of y'all might have been a little after your class period. Remember, you need to be checking in during your class, whether it be 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A, whether it be 5B, 6B, now here it goes, 7B and 8B are my primary classes doing this, okay? So you need to be checking in during your period. Please check in because remember, if you do anything prior to it, I may not be catching it at that time. And if you do anything later, I may not see you and mark you absent. Remember, 15% of your grade is you checking in with me. Please stay on it. Now, for your assignment. Focus, in focus, I will have hotel terms. Through the course of this nine weeks, if you paid attention to my last video and you've been noticing my syllabus and stuff like that, we will be talking about hotels. I'm super excited about this because this is hospitality and tourism, okay? Tourism is what makes our industry what it is. I know a lot of people go, oh, but I want to learn about culinary arts. I want to learn about culinary arts. If people don't travel and people don't go nowhere, how are restaurants going to survive? And you may say, well, the local area will keep people in business. Uh, that doesn't always take care of itself. Unless you work in a big city and you know you have that constant flow of people, you need tourism in your area to make you grow. So we're going to be talking about hotels. What does that do for our industry as certified culinarians, which is what you're going to work on becoming? So that is why I've chosen this. So. Hotel terms, I will have it in a Word document. You go through, you plug it in, you send it to me in Focus. If you have issues with Focus, please download it and email it to me. If you have problems with either one of those, please send me an email, let me know your issues, and we will try to work on it. As many of y'all saw, I have no problem working with you to make you successful. So please work on those kinds of things. Help yourself, help out your fellow man. And let's make it happen. And finally, I want to talk to you about checking in with teams. Questions will be asked. Many of you caught on to this. Very, very good. But I always want to go over this. Please remember when you are checking in that I will always have a question. Last week it was the question. It was, you know, check in and what's your favorite color? I may say check in and what color is your hair? Check in and say what color would you like your hair to be? What's your favorite meal? Whatever the case may be. This helps me to know that you are reading what I'm 
posting because as you've seen I post a couple of different things I remind you to check in I remind you to check focus and I usually upload the video as you are watching right now please refrain from chit chatting on our chat I get if you need to talk to me please keep it in one conversation rather than keep starting a new conversation and burying it uh, one of our classes is very very large with almost 50 students and that can bog a lot of things down as you as we check in and if you start trying to have conversations with me okay you can also have conversations with me via email and that might be a little bit better okay but remember check in during your class time 1a 2a 3a 4a 5b 6b 7b 8b which is my two primary ones okay Hotel terms, look in focus, you'll be able to pull that up, define those words. I'm cool with you using the internet to figure things out. Even if you want to bounce around and kind of get an idea of where we're going to be going, that is perfectly fine with me because we will be talking about terms and we'll be talking about history over the course of the week, next week and a, week and a half to two weeks, okay? Finally, check in. Make sure you answer the question. Make sure that you don't do any chit-chatting on our, on our site and please move forward. So with that said, we're going to have a little fun as we end here. Yeah. Come on now. Get the arms moving. You probably ain't had no exercise in a while. Come on. Then, hey! Come on now, everybody knows this one word. Hey! And we will see you next time right here.